you look very disappointed. Yeah, um, yeah, it's hard. I think that's most disappointed. We've we've come off the pitch this year. We we really are disappointed with how that ended, and we thought we created opportunities to win that game. Um, but look, credit to Bristol. They they had an opportunity. They counted at the end. They they sort of took the opportunity when it came. We we that change room was very quiet, and we know that we we let that slip. Across the board, individual errors and discipline let us down. Yeah, it did. Um, discipline was a tough one. I thought, I thought that was a slightly harsh yellow card. Um, debate whether it's a penalty or not, but we have to take that out of the ref's hands. You know, it's happening too much for us as a squad. Um, and when things aren't going for you, I guess they just keep coming on top and on top and on top. So we have to learn from it. We have to be better. Individual errors, I hold my hands up as well. There, there was too many by myself. Um, yeah, look, we, just, we, just, we have to learn. It's six days to turn around now. Um, mathematically, we're not safe yet. We're, we're very well aware of that. We have to get something away at Quinns. We're not looking just to get something. We're looking for a win. Uh, simple as that. We had a good game against them here. Um, I'm sure Geordie will put a game plan together. We'll execute that well this week. We'll go into that game as prepared as possible and we'll make sure that we, we try our best again. Individually for you, you, you got another Leo Vegas fans favourite award and a record-breaking Lumbers Player of the Month award taking away results in recent weeks. You've been happy with your own performances? Yes and no. I think there's um, bits of my performance I've been very happy with but also today Bitterly disappointed with slipped off a few tackles and, and a few ill disciplined errors. So well, I'm always striving to be better. Um, it's really hard to take. Look, thank you very much to everyone that voted and, and thank you for the awards. But it's a team game. It's a, it's a squad effort. And, and at this moment in time, we need we need to get tight. We need to get together. We need, we need the fan support who who were outstanding today. They really did cheer us on in last week. And we'll be better. Obviously, it's hard because you. You probably find cliches and say cliches naturally in these situations, but yeah. in terms of what you now do next week, rather than just say we'll review it, what is the process now for boys? What do you on Monday morning? What's the conversation? Well, when we come on Monday morning, it's a short turnaround. We can't be too disheartened. Uh, first and foremost, that nobody hurts as hard as we're hurting right now as a, as, a, as the playing group and the coaching staff. We understand fans are hurting. We understand that this hurts and this isn't what they're used to seeing. But stick with us. Get behind us. Monday morning we're going to address this game, we'll be hard on ourselves, we'll be hard on ourselves and anyone else can be. We'll address the individual errors, we'll address what went wrong, we'll address our, we'll address our discipline, we'll learn from it which is the most important thing. We'll put into training what we want to do against Harlequins and it's a short week, we can't, we can't dwell on it, we have to be positive, we have to move forward. As a squad, as a fan base, as a whole Tigers family, we must move forward and we must be better. Do you think we need to maybe take the foot off the pedal a bit and almost try a little bit less? Is it sometimes just doing too much? 100%. I think boys are trying so hard at the moment that when, when you bang your head against a drum and you try and you try and you try, sometimes you try too hard and something something just doesn't quite go to hand, whereas if you're a bit more relaxed it might. We have to have a smile on our face. We have to play rugby. I think at times last week we were in the most pressured game we've had all season and we yeah. pulled out some outstanding yeah. rugby. Again, today we're in a high pressure game. We need to win. I think we pulled off some great things. When we feel that we're kind of playing with a bit of freedom, we're a very good side. But at the moment we haven't been able to do that because our results haven't let us. So we need to really remember that look, we're trying hard, but sometimes just as you say, take your foot off the gas, let's assess things and let's control the game. I thought George again was outstanding today, yeah. controlling the game. As far as fly half I think he's one of the best in the world at controlling the game and putting us in the right areas. Let's get on his page, let's make sure that we're all playing off his, off his level and then we won't go far wrong. Thanks, mate. Thank you.